Here in Huntington, they've celebrated veterans for decades with Memorial Park. And this year, this summer, they celebrated a new name, Elizabeth Smith Friedman. She was born in Huntington in 1892, the youngest of 10 children. But she left Huntington and was one of the few women of her time to go to college. Well, what I've learned about Elizabeth Friedman uh, is her vast contributions to the entire field of cryptography. Uh, she had a, a love of Shakespearean literature and she got involved with a project on code breaking around Shakespeare. That's where she met her husband. He was also a code breaker. Together, they've been called the Adam and Eve of the National Security Agency, or the NSA. And after a period of time, realized that there really was no cipher in Shakespeare. So she took her talents and her abilities, and she served during World War I, working on breaking codes for the entire federal government. Not only did she break codes, she trained other code breakers at the time. When the war ended, she went to work for the FBI and the Coast Guard to intercept rum runner codes as gangsters tried to smuggle alcohol into the U.S. She was the only woman who worked for the Coast Guard at the time, uh, and she had a very small team, and they used the rather new science of radio triangulation to break the codes and to locate the ships that would lay offshore full of alcohol ready to unload. And she was asked to testify in some high profile trials. One of them in New Orleans had 25 defendants. Uh, one of the defendants was named Capone. She was so effective, at one point the mob had a hit out on her. Surviving that, she joined the effort to fight the Germans in World War II Using the same techniques as a civilian for the Navy, she caught spies on the East Coast and in South America who were radioing encoded U.S. ship departures to German U-boats waiting to sink them as they crossed the Atlantic. She saved American ships and American lives. One of the ships that she saved uh, in crossing the Atlantic was the Queen Mary, which at the time was serving as a troop ship. So she may well have saved the soldiers that went on to fight at D-Day in, in the Battle of the Bulge. The code work that she did during World War II was for the FBI, and the FBI director, J. Edgar Hoover, did not want it to come out that this middle-aged woman, about five foot two, was breaking the codes for his FBI agents. That was just more than, than he could stomach, and so he really deliberately erased her from history. But that has changed. And so while her work is adjacent to uh, military service, we, we thought it was fitting to have the memorial marker for her here uh, on the outskirts of our Veterans Memorial. She really could have been a very ordinary woman. You know, we're all good Midwesterners here and uh, we struggle to brag on ourselves, but uh, she is a great example of hard work and determination and, uh, and recognizing that, you know, out of a small place like Huntington, uh, somebody can make a real difference in the world.